all of the food in this bowl only took one hour of my time this year to grow. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how I did it in six easy steps. If you're interested in growing your own food, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell because I got a lot to say about growing your own food and I come out with new videos every week talking about it. If you're new here, I'm Zach Buckle. I own a half acre vegetable farm right behind me over there that has already grown $70,000 worth of vegetables this year and we're projected to grow 100,000 by the end of the year. Not ready yet. Oh, and if you're serious about growing your own food, you should check out my free garden starter guide at the link in the description below where I go over how I set up this exact garden in four easy steps. So step one is the reason we have these beautiful mushrooms growing in our garden. Our no dig garden setup, which I did two years ago. And basically we just put cardboard on the entire footprint of the garden to smother any weeds that were growing layered six inches of wood chips in the pathways and six inches of compost in the growing space and that's allowed us to spend almost no time in here weeding and almost all of our time in here just growing planting and seeding food so step two was weekly seeding according to our spring planting schedule which i will put a link to in the description that told me when to plant all of these crops in our nursery so they are mature by the time I need them like this celery here and that took about 10 total minutes of my time because it really only takes a minute or two every week of my time to seed the crops that I want in our nursery because it's just putting seeds in a couple of cells and putting soil in there watering every once in a while and that's it and step three was adding one inch of compost to this bed because you need to feed the soil every year and one inch of compost is enough to feed usually two crops this year i only got one in but it's enough to feed stuff like this beautiful green onions throughout the season and that took me about 20 minutes of my time to put five buckets of compost on this bed and I was going really slow. Step four was planting this garden in June by hand, which took about 20 minutes of my time and forgetting about it the rest of the year, which is took none of my time. And uh, basically it took me about 20 minutes to plant all of the plants you see here and direct seed stuff by hand. I did a pretty bad job getting these carrots to germinate but still got them to still got food here and so the planting took very little time and now here we are harvesting all this stuff for a huge stir fry we're going to make tonight step five was watering this garden for two hours every week since the first week in june with this wobbler sprinkler here technically i didn't do this my mom did it so I'm not including that in my time, but basically it's a minute to walk out here to turn on the farm hydrant and a minute to walk away to turn it off. So two minutes per week to turn it on and off and uh, you know set a timer on your phone to water this garden really deeply, but not very often because that's the key to growing really good plants. And if you didn't have a mom like me to water the garden for you, there's a great way to do that, which is buy a water timer. I just did a video about that. I'm going to put it up here where I explain the Rainpoint 2 zone automatic water timer. Super easy to use, costs 50 bucks. You buy it and it'll automatically turn on when you want it for two different zones and you wouldn't have to spend any of your time turning the water on and off. So Watering with a sprinkler saves you a ton of time in hand watering a, a garden like this. And last but not least, and definitely my favorite step is step six, which is harvesting everything that you planted so you could eat it. Because that's the whole point of a garden, right? 
So if you've timed me in this video, I'm guessing it took me about five minutes to harvest everything in this bowl. That might be a little high, but it takes no time to harvest on a garden like this. So that's it. So for an hour of my time, we got all the food in this tiny little garden and this didn't even grow that well because I could have done a better job with it. But the farm took a lot of my time and I really wasn't able to pay attention to this until about two, three weeks ago. And I'm pretty happy with the result. And it kind of shows how amazing this no dig style of gardening is and how easy it can be if you set it up right. So if any of that is making sense, comment the word food down below and let me know your key takeaways from this video and if you have any questions because I'd love to start a conversation about this topic. Because I think if more people tried no dig gardening, a lot more people would be growing their own food. And whether you liked or disliked this video, hit those thumbs on the bottom and let me know. And if you thought that was interesting, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified when I come out with more videos like this because I got a lot more to say about growing foods. So if you're serious about growing your own food in your backyard, check out that free garden starter guide that I have at the link in the description below where I go over exactly how I set up this very garden in four easy steps because setting it up is the only part that's kind of hard. After that, it's pretty much plant, water, forget, and harvest. So check that out, the link in the description, and hope you enjoyed this one. I will see you in the next one.